I opened the blinds because I didn't feel like getting out my ring light. And now I just look like I'm in Star Trek. <laughs> Hi friends, so today I'm going to be going over how I made my panty cosplay from Panty and Stocking. I did this in collaboration with my best friend Freak Show Fix. We both handmade our costumes and I think we looked so cute. I felt so cute. I also 3D printed our props and I will have those seal files linked in the description. So yeah, let's just go into how I made this super cute costume. So now that I have a crimper, I want to redo her wig so bad. I actually didn't do too much to her wig. I just trimmed it up, teased it, and I made her little sprout on top of her head and it turned out like this. Uh, I've probably mentioned before that I don't like making wigs and I really don't. <laughs> For the shirt, I draped my fabric over my dress form and I drew on the general shape of it. I then put that pattern onto my white satin fabric. I took a piece of elastic that wraps around my rib cage and I sewed it to the bottom of the shirt and then I sewed a band over it. After that, I made the pattern for the gold straps. I used STL files made for Sailor Moon cosplays and I printed them for all of the hearts on this costume. I also pinned some ruffles that I made by gathering some white stretch fabric that I had laying around. And here's the gold colored strap things and I sketched out the little feather patterns that I'll be making out of two millimeter foam. I heated up the shoulder feathers until they bent upward and then I painted them white and added a pearlescent white paint over that. I also painted the Sailor Moon hearts pink and I added a glossy clear coat. After super gluing the heart, I added these stretchy straps to the front of it to match the reference. I did a really pretty lace up the back with some gold lacing. There's boning on the inside where the lace is to keep the structure. And then I just used gold eyelets. Moving on to the skirt, I cut a long rectangle out of the sheer white fabric that I'll be gathering. I put it on the loosest stitch and I ran one long stitch across the entire thing and then I gather it by hand. I really should have done a circle skirt. I think that would have been a lot better. I'm not sure why I didn't, unless at that time I didn't have enough fabric. I think I was just using stuff out of my fabric stash for this, to be honest. Anyway, I did a rolled hem at the bottom. I do that twice, the second time with a much shorter skirt to add a little bit of a fun layer, and then I sewed them together. For the satin skirt, I originally wanted to do a pleated skirt, and the pleats turned out really cute, but I did not like how it looked with the ruffles, so I ended up just taking a long strip of satin, gathered it, put a waistband in, and a zipper, and that's basically the main skirt. Hi, huh, Blaine! And just for funsies, I added this cute little roughly trim stuff along the bottom of the ruffled skirt. I actually took that off of an old petticoat that I did not want anymore. <laughs> I made the side sash things out of some sheer fabric and satin sewn together. Once I hand sewed those on, I draped some gold chain over the skirt, hand stitched those on, and super glued the 3D printed hearts to the skirt. The tights are probably my favorite part. I glued a bunch of rhinestones to my skin color tights um, with the help of my duct tape dummy. It's so sparkly. I really like how that turned out. It's like, it's so, it's such a little detail, but it's so fun. For the leg wraps, I took this gold fabric and I wrapped it around some strips of leather. I definitely hot glued it. I know, fight me. <laughs> I didn't want stitching lines and uh, it was the fastest way to do this. I used velcro to attach them. Be careful using velcro around some delicate tights. If the teeth on the velcro snag the tights, it will cause runs.
For the little hand thong things, I just made a simple paper pattern first and I transferred that onto some white stretch fabric. I cut that out, doubled them up, sewed them together, turned them right side out, and I added a little middle finger ring. I have a bunch of gold rings that I wear with her and these pretty pink nails with matching rhinestones. All of the arm and wristbands were the same gold stretchy fabric that I sewed together in tubes, turned them right side out, and then sewed them to my arm size. They are a bit tight, but I like to make it look like I have somewhat of muscle in my arms. For her shoes, I found these cute wings on Thingiverse, so I printed those out and then I painted them the same pearlescent white as I did on the shoulder wings and I added the cute rhinestones. And they just lace up into the shoes. I made this simple wing pattern for the wings and I cut four total, two for me and two for my best friend Freak Show Fix who cosplayed stocking. I thought they looked a little plain by themselves, so I added a raised layer of like a skinnier wing. This made them look super cute. Sebastian, I am trying to do a voiceover and you are being absolutely wild with a fly. I thought they looked a little plain by themselves, so I added a raised layer of like a skinnier wing. This made them look super cute and they were still light enough that I was able to Velcro them to the back of my shirt. I can put the shirt on with the wings velcroed in or I can have someone stick them in for me. It's really hard to do one-handed so feel free to watch me struggle for a minute while I try to do that. Also, a little final accessory we wore for cons this year was this custom mask that Freak Show Fix made. Super cute, I'm obsessed with it. The gun was 3D printed by me. I searched forever and I cannot find where I got this file. It's been months since I've made it, so it's possible it was taken down. But if you search in panty gun STL file, you'll get results, re results. you'll get results or backlace STL file. I wish I could find it and I know I had it saved, so I'm assuming it must have been removed. So before I can put this all together, I am going to paint it like these things, like these have to be painted baby blue. So I'm just going to paint these and then I can assemble them. I also 3D printed Stockings Katana. The file is from Arcana Fabrications on Etsy and I absolutely love this file. The details are really good. Um, it assembled really well. I like how it turned out a lot, although it did snap during ASIN, so I think next time I'll use metal rods instead of dowels. And that's it. I hope you guys found it somewhat interesting or helpful or whatever. Feel free to ask any questions of something I may have missed or didn't cover. And uh, if you like cool crafty stuff, then feel free to hang out. I do a lot of, do a lot of costuming stuff. That's, that's kind of all I do. That's all I know how to do. And I don't even know how to do that. But yeah, thanks again for hanging out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!